Yo, what's up, guys? In today's video, I'm showing you the latest Void Strap Fast Flags for 1000 plus FPS after patch. That's right, I'm gonna show you step by step how to boost your FPS and lower your ping using these secret settings that even pros are using right now. So let's make your Roblox run like a beast. Gear Up Booster is a great tool that helps reduce your ping while playing games, and it works with both wired and wireless connections. Download it safely from the official website using the link in the description and enjoy with lower ping. Step 1. Turn off power throttling in Windows to help Roblox run smoother. If your computer feels slow, old, or you're using a low-end PC, then this step is going to help a lot. Start by pressing Windows plus R on your keyboard. This will open a small box called Run. Inside that box, type gpedit.msc and press Enter. It'll open the Local Group Policy Editor, which lets you tweak deep Windows settings that control performance. Now follow these steps carefully. First, click on Computer Configuration, then go to Administrative Templates. Next, click on System, and then scroll down to find Power Management. On the right-hand side, look for Power Throttling Settings and double-click it. When a new window pops up, double-click on Turn Off Power Throttling. Another smaller window will open. Here, select Enabled, then click Apply and OK to save your settings. By doing this, you've now completely disabled Power Throttling. This means your CPU will no longer slow itself down automatically, and it will stay at its maximum performance level all the time. As a result, Roblox will run smoother, load faster. Step 2. Make Roblox use your CPU better with Run With Affinity tool. You can get all the files from my official website. I give link in the description of this video. Now that your CPU is fully unlocked, we'll make sure Roblox is actually using all of it. This step uses a small tool called Run With Affinity which tells Roblox to use all available CPU threads every time you launch it. This makes a massive difference, especially on weaker PCs. Open the Run with Affinity tool. Inside it, go to the Affinity tab. Click the three dots button to browse for a file. You'll need to find robloxplayerlauncher.exe, which is the main Roblox launcher file. You can usually find it here. App data greater than local, greater than Roblox. Once you've selected the launcher, look for the Set Affinity section. In the drop-down menu, choose the highest number available. This represents the number of CPU threads your PC has. Choosing the highest one makes Roblox use all of them efficiently. In the shortcut name box, type something like High Performance Roblox so you can recognize it later. Under the Run drop-down, choose Maximized so Roblox always opens in full screen mode. Then click Create Shortcut. This will create a new Roblox shortcut on your desktop with optimized CPU settings. From now on, always start Roblox using this new shortcut. You can even test it instantly by clicking Run Program inside the tool. Step 3. Latest Void Strap Fast Flags to optimize Roblox performance. You can get all the files from my official website. I give link in the description of this video. Now that your CPU is optimized, it's time to push your FPS even further using Void Strap Fast Flags. These are hidden settings that help Roblox perform much better by adjusting internal performance variables. Start by going to your FPS Boost Pack and downloading the Void Strap Launcher. After downloading, double click it to install and follow the setup instructions carefully until it's done. Once installed, use the Windows search bar to look up Void Strap and open it. Inside the app, click Settings then scroll down until you find Fast Flag Editor. You'll see a message that says, I know what I'm doing. Go ahead and click it to continue. Now, click Add New to create new settings. Open the text file from your FPS Boost Pack. It contains the latest Void Strap Fast Flags already prepared for your PC. These flags are safe, stable, and work great even on low-end systems. They help increase FPS, reduce stuttering, and make Roblox feel smoother overall. Copy everything from that text file and paste it into the Fast Flag section in Void Strap. Then click OK to save. If a message pops up asking for confirmation, click Yes to apply the changes. Now close Void Strap and open Roblox. Once you join a game, you should instantly notice smoother motion, fewer lag spikes, and higher FPS, all thanks to these powerful Fast Flag settings. In this step, I'm going to show you a helpful tool that can make your Roblox connection more stable. First. Download the Gear Up Booster tool from its official website. I've added the official link in the description. After downloading, install it on your PC. The first thing you'll need to do is sign in with either your Facebook or Google account. 
On the Home tab, you'll find all the games installed on your PC. If you go to the Games tab, you can also browse through thousands of games available for optimization. To improve your network and FPS, go back to the Home tab and select the game you want to boost. For example, I'll select Roblox, click the Boost button, and the tool will automatically start optimizing the game by finding the most suitable server for you. Next, choose your server region. Always select the nearest server for the most stable connection. In my case, the Middle East server works best. Now, go to the End tab where you'll see a list of servers available in your region. You can either choose the nearest one manually or let GearUp automatically pick the best option. For the best results, I recommend keeping it on automatic. Finally, close the window and launch your game using GearUp Booster. Step 4. Use Throttle Stop to improve CPU speed. You can get all the files from my official website. I give link in the description of this video. While gaming Windows sometimes slows down your CPU to reduce heat or save power, but when gaming, that's the last thing you want. This step fixes that using a tool called Throttle Stop, which helps your CPU stay fast and stable during Roblox sessions. Go to your FPS Boost Pack Tools folder and open the Throttle Stop folder. Double-click throttlestop.exe to launch it. You'll see multiple performance profiles such as performance, game, internet, and battery. Choose the game profile since it's the best for Roblox. Then, tick the box that says High Performance to make sure your CPU always runs at maximum power. You'll also notice some advanced settings like Clock Mode and Speed Shift. Don't worry, you can leave those alone if you're unsure. Also, make sure the box for Disable Turbo is checked. This helps keep your CPU from overheating while still maintaining strong performance. Finally, click Turn On, then Save, so your settings apply automatically each time you play. Keep Throttle Stop running in the background when playing Roblox. This ensures your CPU stays fast, preventing random lag spikes or FPS drops during long gaming sessions. Step 5. Free up RAM. Using ISLC, Intelligent Standby List Cleaner. You can get all the files from my official website. I give link in the description of this video. RAM is your computer's short-term memory, and when it fills up with leftover data, Roblox can start stuttering or lagging. We'll fix that using a tool called ISLC, the Intelligent Standby List Cleaner. Open ISLC. At the top, you'll see your total system memory shown in megabytes. In the box that says free memory is lower than, type half of your total RAM. For example, if you have 32,000 megabytes RAM, type 16,000. If you have 16,000 megabytes RAM, type 8,000. Now check these two boxes. Start ISLC minimized, so it runs quietly in the background. Launch ISLC on user logon, so it starts automatically when you turn on your PC. On the right-hand side, enable timer resolution and set it to 0.50. Then, set polling rate to 1,000 or 10,000 if your system is very weak. Finally, click Stop Arrow. Start Arrow. Purge Standby List to instantly clean up unused memory. Once this is done, Roblox will have more free RAM available, which helps it load faster, run smoother, and avoid lag or frame drops. Step 6. Use MSI Afterburner to boost GPU. You can get all the files from my official website. I give link in the description of this video. Your graphics card, GPU, controls how Roblox looks and how smoothly it runs. To get better results, we'll use a tool called MSI Afterburner to unlock its potential safely. Install MSI Afterburner from your Tools folder and open it. You'll see a set of sliders. Here's what you need to do. Set Power Limit. Max and Temperature Limit. Max, don't touch core voltage, it's not necessary. Next. Slightly increase your memory clock in small steps. Try plus 20, then test Roblox. If it's stable, go to plus 40, test again, and so on. If the game crashes or becomes unstable, reduce it to the last stable value. Once you find a setting that runs smoothly, click Apply to save it. This simple tuning can help your GPU perform much better, giving you higher FPS and smoother visuals inside Roblox without lag or sudden drops. Step 7. Make your PC start faster by disabling extra apps. The final step is to make your PC boot faster and stop wasting power on background apps that you don't even use. Press Control plus Shift plus Escape to open Task Manager. Click the Startup tab and you'll see a list of apps that automatically launch when your PC starts. 
right-click on the ones you don't need, like Spotify, Discord, or Update Tools, and select Disable. Once you've disabled unnecessary apps, restart your computer to apply all the changes from previous steps. Now, your Roblox should run with maximum FPS, minimal lag, and super smooth performance every time you play.